we are in the race, we're in a race to the moon, in a race with China to the moon. And uh, to have a, a base on the moon, we need energy. And uh, some of the key locations on the moon, we're going to get solar power. But uh, this vision technology is uh, critically important. And so we've spent hundreds of million dollars studying can we do it. We are now going to move beyond studying, and we, are going, we have given direction to go, let's start to deploy our technology to move to actually make this a reality. So we're not talking about massive technology. We're not launching this live. Uh, that's obviously, uh, if you have any questions about that, no, we're not launching it live. But again, energy is important. And if we're going to be able to sustain life on the moon to then go to Mars, this technology is critically important. I have a question on setting up a nuclear reactor on the moon. Um, what challenges do you and the experts anticipate with that? And uh, how critical is that we beat China um, in winning the second I space didn't, race? I didn't think the moon was going to come up today. I wasn't prepared for that. Well, you are the acting NASA administrator. <laughs> and it didn't come from Politico, so that's uh, wonderful. Listen, um, so this is not a new concept. This uh, has been discussed under Trump one under Biden, but uh, we are in the race, we're in a race to the moon, in a race with China to the moon, and uh, to have a, a base on the moon, we need energy. And uh, some of the key locations on the moon, we're going to get solar power, but uh, this vision technology is uh, critically important. And so we've spent hundreds of million dollars studying can we do it. We are now going to move beyond studying, and we are going, we have given direction to go, Let's start to deploy our technology to move to actually make this a reality. And I think the stat we have is uh, it's, a, it's a 100 kilowatt output. That's the same amount of energy a 2,000 square foot home uses every three and a half days. So we're not talking about massive technology. We're not launching this live. Uh, that's obviously, uh, if you have any questions about that, no, we're not launching it live. But again, energy is important. And if we're going to be able to sustain life on the moon to then go to Mars, this technology is critically important. Um, and I would just note that we, we're, we're behind, right? If, if, we're, if we're going to engage um, in the race to the moon and the race to Mars, we have to get our act together. We have, to, we have to marshal all of our resources, all of our focus on going to the moon, which is what we're going to do. Um, and again, there's a lot of things that NASA does. And a lot of people love a lot of the things that NASA does. But this is about space exploration. And this is about this next phase. Um, a lot of people don't know even what Artemis is. Everyone knew what Apollo was. We all knew, the whole world knew what Apollo was. We were going to the moon. Artemis is, we're going back. So uh, in the first part of next year, we are going to send Artemis II out. Met the four astronauts, they're fantastic. Uh, we're gonna go out around the moon and come back. Artemis III, we are going to go back to the moon. We're gonna land. The longest time we've spent in the past was three days. We're going to stay for six days. And then after that, we're able to start shipping uh, our assets to the moon unmanned. And we'll have those assets there as our astronauts arrive and are able to uh, build a base. But this is critically important. There's a certain part of the moon that everyone knows is the best. We have ice there. We have sunlight there. We want to get there first and claim that for America. And uh, to do this is to, to this, this part of the fission technology is critically important to sustain life because solar won't do it, but it's just a, a lower amount of, of that fission technology that's going to allow uh, human life to sustain. So as far as AI and airline pricing, do you have any concerns about Delta and other airlines using AI to set pricing? And have they explained to you at all exactly how they're using it? So, uh, so do I have a concern broadly about AI pricing? Yes, I do. Let's sell prices on seats for what they should go for. Um, but to try to individualize pricing on seats based on how much you make or don't make or who you are, uh, I can guarantee you that we will investigate if anyone does that. Now, the question was about Delta. Um, Delta has uh, clarified that they are not going to do that. I'll take them at face value in, in their clarification. Uh, but uh, we would engage uh, very strongly if uh, any company tries to use AI to individually price their seating.